Hey, Frank. Yeah, what's going on, bro? I was just browsing online, and I think the Jehovah's Witnesses might be a cult. Oh, really? They're a cult? Well, we should get out then. All right, cool. Let's go have a beer. All right, that sounds pretty good, bro. Let's go have a beer. Thanks, bro. Another one. Oh my god, Frank! Yeah, what's up, whoa? Uh, I, I think the Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult. I, I was on this website, it says 607 isn't actually the real date, and 1914 was artificially derived based off of the pyramids of Egypt. Uh, well, we, we need to get out of the Jehovah's Witnesses, like today! Uh, whoa, you're starting to sound like one of them apostates! Well, you can't be talking like that, bro! Come on, well, you know this is gonna be the truth! You need to get out of here with that crap, bro! All right, reasons to leave the Jehovah's Witnesses in five minutes. But first off, I just need to say a few things. Uh, the skit in the beginning, all of that was meant to demonstrate that y you can spout off a bunch of like facts, but people will still need a logical reason on why sh they should be leaving. So that probably needs to be established. And then uh, second of all, you can't just tell someone, oh, you're in a cult, and they'll walk away. So that was kind of the point of it. It was probably obvious, but, you know, that was meant to uh, just explain that real briefly. Uh, next up is I understand that I don't cover every single detail in my videos. So, for instance, if I mention 607 and someone you know wants to email me or or comment and say oh well did you know that lloyd evans he did a video uh, and it was very comprehensive and it was documentary style and it explained it much better than you did yeah so why would i need to make the same damn video like if one person is doing something why would i just want to re rinse and repeat that if anyone has been paying attention to my channel it's trying to be something different unique we don't need more videos of people just like sitting and saying how they researched 607 and uh, 1914 and the blood issue and then they left. Like th there's enough, it's, the internet is so saturated with that content and it kind of annoys me when random people are like, well, you know, you didn't actually talk about this all the way, and oh, you know, the Lloyd Evans in his video, he covered it much better, and oh, well, you missed this point or that point. I promise you, I am 100% aware of the content that I put out there, and there's a reason for it, because I want this to be a place where we can have a laugh, but also have a different perspective. So, for instance, with this video, I can already anticipate, well, these aren't all the reasons that you should leave the Watchtower organization. Yeah, I, I know that these aren't the only reasons that you should leave, but I try and take in the full spectrum of what's already out there and try and add something a little bit different and a little bit unique to it, because that's going to be more beneficial to people. It's a new perspective, or maybe not a new perspective, but a fresh perspective, a, a fresh energy. So that's what we're going uh, and, and going for on this channel. So if you, you think that I missed something or you think that I didn't cover something in detail, I know that and it's because it's already been covered and you don't need to remind me that it has been well covered because I'm already aware. Thank you so much. That being said, don't forget to drop a like on this video. It does help it get out to so much more or so many more people on YouTube. So I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and hopefully we can get this unique and fresh perspective out there. With that all being said, I am going to start the timer and I'm going to put it here, here, somewhere in, the, somewhere in that zone. That's where the timer will be. And we are going to talk about the reasons that you should leave the Jehovah's Witnesses in five minutes. Let's go, baby. First off, the Jehovah's Witnesses claim to be God's only organization. Um, they claim that the governing body is leading this organization. And they claim that, or the governing body claims that God is using them. Therefore, the governing body are God's self-proclaimed spokespersons for humanity. So I'll, I'll say that again. 
the governing body, despite what they might say in their literature, whenever they say they're the only organization and that God is using them, the ramifications for that is that they are saying we are a self-proclaimed spokesperson for God. Now, I hope I don't need to remind you of how bad this is, but just in case, I'll go through a few names here and you can research this till the cows come home. The People's Temple Agricultural Project, uh, that ended in, uh, oh, I think everyone knows that ended in Jonestown. Um, the Branch Davidians, uh, Waco, Texas, uh, David Koresh. Uh, the Solar, or the Order of the Solar Temple, uh, Aum Shinrikyu, my Japanese is terrible. The Solvenians, the True Russian Orthodox Church. The list goes on and on and on and on throughout human history when people make the claim that they are the only organization or person or group of people that God is using to tell the rest of the world, you know, his will and his promises are what the future is going to be. It ends in war, uh, uh, like rape, starvation, disappointment, people throwing their entire uh, future and livelihood away. Any, I can't, I couldn't think of a single example of when someone claimed to be the spokesperson for God and it ended good. So when you have a group of men that's also claiming to be the spokesperson for God, now granted, they're not actually coming out like, guns blazing and saying, we are the spokespersons for God, but they're doing it subtly and the ramifications are just as serious. So if you hear someone saying that they are the self-proclaimed uh, word of God and spiritual channel, you need to turn and run the other direction. And I don't think anything more needs to be said about that. All right. The second reason that you should leave the Jehovah's Witnesses is in your life, you should want to believe as many true things as possible. And the Watchtower claim that they have an absolute monopoly on all things true. Now, because they're inundated with this mindset, it's very difficult for someone to actually use critical thinking. And I understand that. But there is hope because when you're living your life normally and you get that email from a foreign prince that says, hey, send me your bank account information and I'll give you a million dollars. You're able to use critical thinking. Whenever you're approaching a stoplight or whether you're um, evaluating whether something's a good deal, like someone, I see it all the time, they're in the grocery store and they're on their phone, you know, looking at Amazon to see if they can get it cheaper. This is all just critical thinking. So it's just taking something that you use every single day of your life and moving it to the most important aspect of your life. Because being a Jehovah's Witness means you are fully in and you are 100% committed to it. So because you should want to believe in as many true things as possible and you don't want to delude yourself and you don't want to just live a lie and do it because it makes you comfortable... That is a perfect reason to start thinking critically and evaluating whether or not the claims that the Jehovah's Witnesses make are true. Once you can get to that point where you're asking yourself that question, are the claims that Watchtower makes true? Research and you're good to go and you're off to the races. My third bit of advice would be that they give bad advice. Watchtower would have you believe that even if they're wrong, they will you're living the best life ever let's just go down a quick list uh medical um procedures homosexuality marriage education children entertainment and it just keeps going there is no aspect of your life that the governing body missed it by that much doesn't want to control and if you evaluate the quality of the advice that they are giving it's really bad it just is. You can't be saying that because someone is attracted to a member of the, the same sex, 
that they're automatically a bad person. You can't tell someone in an abusive relationship that they should stick it out and be a good witness for Jehovah because maybe they'll get converted to your religion one day. You can't tell your children that they shouldn't reach the maximum potential that their education should give. So real briefly, you have horrible advice. You have, you should want to believe in as many things as possible and any time throughout human history that I could think of, I could be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I like being wrong because that means I get to learn something. But any time that I could think of throughout human history that someone claimed to be the spokesperson for God, it almost invariably ends poorly or people waste their lives. So those are my reasons for leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses in five minutes. I know the video was longer than five minutes because that's what I, I like to rant a little bit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, very much appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday and we will see you next time.